Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to hack your soda stream. The point is that those things come with a relatively small CO2 bottle and uh, the refill of these bottles is overpriced. You know, it's supposed to be uh, food grade CO2, but come on, don't get fooled. CO2 is just CO2. It is exactly the same as welders use. So you don't need to buy, there, there is no such a thing as food grade CO2. It's just CO2. So instead of using this, the idea is to use something like that. A welder's bottle of CO2. Okay, it's exactly the same gas that is in it but the refill is much cheaper. So of course you will have to purchase a welder's bottle like this, but it's a one-time purchase, okay? It's really worth it. Now, something that was purposely made, of course, by the manufacturers, they decided to use a fitting that is different from these things so that you cannot connect this into the soda stream so the hack is that actually you can use a cable that will do the conversion so you can attach this to this bottle and this sorry and, and this end goes into the soda stream okay now uh, this um this connector, this cable, it costs $35 on Amazon. Uh, I'm sure you can also find it on eBay and maybe you can even get it for cheaper, okay? So now uh, what we need to do is the following thing. Of course, this thing will not fit in it. You can even buy a much bigger bottle depending on how much space you have. So first thing we need to do is to punch a hole in the, in the back of the soda stream if you want to have a nice finish. Of course, you, you, you can always leave it open, but that's not very pretty. So in my case, I prefer to drill a hole. So I'm going to use uh, something like this. So it's just plastic, so it should be easy to to drill there we are clean it and maybe we can use a file in order to make this prettier and here is the job okay so now take your cable and it's a quick um, release thing so just pull towards you like this and this comes off and then you can fit this in here Plug this back. Oops. All right. And now let me adjust the camera. Just attach this up there like if it was the original bottle we can release this for the time being now to tighten this thing please don't use pliers this tool is not made to tighten nuts. I keep seeing supposedly professional mechanics who use this tool in order to work 
in order to tighten or untighten bolts and nuts but when I see that I want to punch them in the face using this thing is the best way to ruin the the nut okay so don't ever use these tools for tightening bolts and nuts instead use a proper wrench or an adjustable wrench like this okay so here I'm gonna now you don't want to over tighten this it's useless you're gonna break it if you do it so just tighten moderately and that's enough okay you can always you can always tighten again if you can hear some leaks but uh, don't overdo it all right so that's it for this part we can plug this back in and close this and there we are all right and the last thing to do of course is to plug this here And again, don't over tighten. And we are ready to make a test. Let's open this. Okay, that's bad. What's going on? Oh, I didn't fully plug this in. Let's try again. Perfect. I can't hear any leak, so let's try. Yeah. Oh, it's very powerful, more powerful than this. Uh, I only press slightly on the button. If I do too much, it's gonna blow up. It definitely works. Let's see. Lot of bubbles. Success. If you like this hack, please register to my channel, give a like to this video, and I would appreciate if you can also share it on your social networks. Thanks for watching.